Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota Scion, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2016 Sienna SE. Now the most notable features on the SE is its Bluetooth connectivity, its power sliding doors, as well as its backup camera. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2016 Sienna SE. Let's get started. To start, we're going to be taking a look at a couple of the exterior accessories you're going to see on the SE model, one of them being your 19-inch aluminum alloy wheels, as well as your fog lamps and your LED daytime running lights, and then your roof rack. Now I'm just going to quickly show you your second row seating just so that you have a better idea of how much space there is in the back. Now one of the things I actually really like about the SE model is that it has the power sliding rear doors. So to actually close them up again from the inside, just push on this button here and it will close automatically for you. Now the other great thing about the sliding doors is it also has um, jam protection. So if there is an obstruction in the rear doors there, it'll open up automatically again until it's removed. Now to actually close it from the outside, just pull on the door handle again and it will close automatically for you. Now I'm just going to start by taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so that you have a better idea of what it looks like. You have your power and driver seat with lumbar support. You also have on your left hand side your traction on and off as well as your power uh, door on and off. And then you have some storage for some coin. Located on the inside of your driver's side door you have your mirror controls, window locks, power locks, window controls for both your front and rear windows. A couple of the controls you are going to see here on your steering wheel are your volume control, scroll function, mode select, voice recognition, Bluetooth, and then your scroll function for your multi-informational display with your cruise control. Now I'm just going to show you a couple of the features you are going to see on your multi-informational display. One of them being your distance to empty, as well as a couple of other features. But you can also go through your audio, your messages, as well as your settings through here. Now if you take a look at the very top, you're also going to see your exterior temperature gauge. Now we're going to be taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display. Now if we head into your apps menu, you're going to see your audio eco setup as well as a couple of other features. And then you have your temperature control settings just located down here as well as your rear temperature. Down below that, you're going to see your USB and your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger with your additional power outlet. And then another power outlet just located down below here. You also have your auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage door opener and digital compass. And then you have your power rear tailgate open and closed and then your power sliding rear doors open and closed for your left and right. And then you also have your sunglass case holder with a little mirror in here just so that you can keep an eye on the kids just while you're going on the long drive. Finally we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area. Now if you just take a look down below on your left hand side you're going to see your backup camera. Hatch release will just be located right underneath the Sienna emblem. And I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo area just so that you have a better idea of how much space there is in the back. Now one of the nice things with that second row is that uh, middle seat is actually removable. So if you actually want to store that middle seat you can actually have it stored just right here. You also have plenty of uh, storage space just at the bottom here so if you want to put your groceries there or your bags for uh, your kids uh, after school activities then you can do so. Now with the third row seating you can actually have it folded down into the floor so if you have a bunch of cargo that you do need to have stored away you can actually put this uh, third row seat into the floor. Now to fold down the headrest just push on the button that's located on the side of the headrest and then to actually fold it down into the floor first you're going to want to pull on this piece here. It'll lay the seat flat down for you and then to actually fold it into the floor you want to pull on this piece here and place it into the floor then pull this flap up just so that it lays flat down and then again do the same thing with this seat and then you have plenty of storage space just in case you are moving somewhere it's one of the things I actually really like about the SE is that it has plenty of storage space for you. Now the other thing I actually really like is that you also have the power tailgate as well. So if your hands are full and you just want to uh, close the door automatically, all you have to do is push on the button and it will close for you. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780. 
410-245-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.